Chase Dice Culminating Activity. I'm your host, Chase Lane, and today you will hear me rant on about the famous celebrity, Ray Lewis. So stay awake and enjoy because I know some of you like my long presentations. <clears throat> Ray Lewis's college career. Did you guys know that Ray Lewis enrolled in the College of Miami, where he was a member of the Miami Hurricanes in college football? After the 1995 season, Lewis decided to go to forego his final year of college, allegedly, and enter the NFL Draft. He would be awesome in football, believe me. Lewis finished his junior season with 160 tackles, the highest in um, University of Miami team history, only falling three to the record. Chase, can you uh, just do me one quick favor? Yes. Uh, make it full screen. Uh, can you do that? Huh? Uh, what's he clicking on? You see it just like the red X and the... Oh. No. heading into the 1996 NFL Draft. Lewis seen by scouts as possessing speed, strength, agility, and ability to play football, and his tackling ability was intense, and nobody could ever break off his tackles. Ray Lewis was picked in the first round pick, 19, uh, got excuse me, in the first round 26 by the 1996 Baltimore Ravens. Super Bowl and MVP. Lewis won 2,000 Super Bowl MVP honors, Defensive Player of the Year, and earned an anonymous All-Pro decision. The team, set, the team set a single season record for fewest points allowed and fewest rushing yards again. The Baltimore Ravens would make this their first Super Bowl heading into 2000, and they would defeat the New York Giants 34-7, securing one of the best defenses in the NFL. Possibly the best. Ray Lewis hard hits. Ray Lewis is known for being one of the biggest hitters in the NFL. He is known for having caused more than 25 concussions in the NFL. That has caused almost three game suspensions. Lewis has been fined $84,000 by the NFL for combined hits. And yet this is possibly one of the worst hits that he's ever delivered, considering this ended a wide receiver's career. His name was Dustin, Dustin Keller, and this was the 2011 season where he gave him a concussion and ended a season in his career. The Ravens would eventually win that game 10 to 9 as the defense would hold. But this is still controversy as Ray Lewis should have been uh, ejected from the NFL for that hard hit. But this was the downfall of his career in 2001 Ray Lewis's murder trial. In 2000, Lewis and his two companions, Reginald Oakley and Joseph Sterling, were questioned by Atlanta police. Lewis and his companions and another group of people were charged with the stabbing deaths of Jack McBaker and Richard Lawler. Joseph Sweating was found guilty of manslaughter as not enough evidence was found against Ray Lewis to support the first degree murder charge that they placed on him. The aftermath of the murder trial. Ray Lewis was fined $250,000 by the NFL and a five game suspension. There is still controversy as he did it today, as a lot of people still think that he did it, and a certain person in his classroom thinks he did it. Lewis would plead guilty to obstruction of justice because all this media that was getting to him, and eventually this might have been downfall his career. But in the end, no murder charges were against Lewis. Ray Lewis's season-ending injury. 
This was after the murder trial. He would later come back in December and have one of the best seasons that he's ever had. But as this will come to an end in December, he went for a hard hit on Dallas Cowboys running back Willis McGahee. Lewis's leg landed awkwardly and he was carted out of the game. MRIs later revealed that he would have a torn ACL. If you do not know where that is, if you feel the top of your kneecap and move it up and down, that is your ACL, an important ligament that he tore. Lewis's career was in jeopardy as a lot of scouts thought that his career might be over. Return from the season, but yet another career-threatening injury. After the ACL injury, Ray Lewis returned at 59 tackles in just five games, looking like he might have a breakout season and possibly break the record for most tackles in an NFL game. In the sixth game of the season, there would be another injury. Lewis would tear his triceps and end the season for him. You guys know where the triceps are. Right here in this area is where the triceps are. Unfortunately, it was outstretched and it was torn, possibly ending his career again. Another season return, but this time it would be his defensive player of the year. Lewis finished the season with 161 tackles, a new record for a middle linebacker. He also had one and a half sack and six interceptions. Lewis was named NFL Defensive Player of the Month for his 15 tackle, one interception, and also the 15 tackle performance against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Lewis was returned from a defense, I mean, for a serious injury after the triceps and did not think it was going uh, to do well in the future, but he proved all the critics wrong by winning the Defensive MVP of the Year of 2002. His 13 Pro Bowl selections. Lewis holds the records for most Pro Bowls. He is the only middle linebacker to be voted 13 times and the, only the second in uh, league history. Of course, 14 goes to Tony Gonzalez over the Atlanta Falcons. He was in the Pro Bowl for 97. You can just read up on the board. There's a little time for that. Okay. The fourth down tackle. The fourth down tackle sent the Baltimore Ravens to the playoffs in 2007. The game decided if the Ravens would make the playoffs or not, considering that they were 9-6 and six going into this game. If they would have won this game, it would have secured a playoff spot, but if they didn't, the Baltimore Ravens would lose and the Chargers would go into the playoffs. Eventually, the Ravens would win 31-26, but of course, so Ray Lewis making the fourth down game over tackle. Oh my, hit in the backfield and timing it perfectly. Who else but the many-time All-Pro Ray Lewis as if he knew what was coming. He charged right up the middle and into the arms of the ball carrier to deny the Chargers. It's a Hall of Fame play. That's where he'll be in a five or six, seven, eight years. Whenever he decides to retire, the timing is perfect. Big hit in the backfield. So the Chargers is in their frustration of this day so many times downfield. This was possibly one of his biggest tackles that he's ever delivered and possibly the most important. But unfortunately, the Ravens would not make it far into the playoffs and would lose their next game due to a controversy call against the Pittsburgh Steelers. Lewis's famous family. Did you know that he is the older brother of former University of Maryland running back Ken Lattimore? Lewis's son, Ray Lewis III, has also had a scholarship to Boise State. Lewis's son, unfortunately, declined the offer and went to Miami for his father's honor. Ray Lewis's personal life. Ray Lewis currently has six children, four boys and two girls. Two of the six have received scholarship to play college football due to their amazing and uh, amazing concerns in football. Since they've been taught by a great football player in Ray Lewis, they have become really great at tackling and can provide even the best sports and possibly end of the NFL. Lewis also owns a 28-acre ranch style property on Tuckton Avenue in Baltimore, Maryland.
Ray Lewis's 1,500 tackle and record breaking for most middle linebacker. In the 2006 uh, season, Lewis would reach his 1,500 tackle against the Denver Bronco. The 1,500 tackle would be the most tackles by a middle linebacker, passing Sean Taylor for most tackles, and we all know we have a Broncos fan in this room. Highest paid middle linebacker in the NFL history. In 2008, Ray Lewis's contract would eventually run out and the team was fearing of losing him. Multiple teams tried to offer contracts, but none declined. So the Ravens went up and beyond and signed him to a three-year, $58 million contract. This would make him the biggest sign middle linebacker in NFL history. He is the mentor of C.J. Mosley, really good friend for lots of years. All of C.J. Mosley's moves come from the all-time pro, Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis said that this was his favorite mentoring star and that he can possibly be one of the NFL's greatest stars if he concentrates on his moves and follows his training. He has currently also been drafted by the Baltimore Ravens and is having a great career so far. And he thinks Ray Lewis. Ray Lewis's retirement. When the 2011 season came, Ray Lewis would say that it has been a long journey, but now I must pass the flame. With the team knowing that Ray Lewis was going to retire that year, they would try and make it go to the Super Bowl. After a fantastic season, unfortunately, they would not make it to the playoff. I mean, they would not make it to the Super Bowl, but go deep into the playoffs after a missed field goal by our kicker. They would uh, lose, and Ray Lewis's uh, magic carpet ride would end with a missed field goal. But wait! There's a Lewis comeback. After the 2011 season comeback, he decided to come back for one more season to try and guide his team to the Super Bowl. Lewis would sign a one-year contract with $14 million. We never paid this guy or what? Another triceps injury. What the fudge? This keeps happening. Man. Week six versus the Detroit, I mean the Dallas Cowboys. Lewis would once again tear his same triceps. This would end his season and also end the playoffs for him. Real announcement of retirement, sad face. On December, on December 12, 2012, Ray Lewis said after the playoffs he would retire. Even though he would not be clearer to play in the playoffs, he decided, he decided to give one retirement speech. I talked to my team today, and uh, you know, I, I talked to them about life, life in general, and everything that starts has an end. It's just life, and for me, you know, today I told my team that this would be my last ride. Right? And um, and I and I and I, I told them I just I just felt so much peace and where I am with my decision because of everything that I've done in this league. I've done it, you know. I've done it, man. There's no you know accolade that I don't have individually. But I've never played the game for individual stats. You know, I've only played the game to to make my team be a better team. And and now God is God is calling. God is calling in so many other areas of life and and my children, I can my children have made the ultimate sacrifice for their father. The ultimate, you know, for seventeen years. And <clears throat> with this jump on a plane, jump right back, go to school and and, and I don't wanna see them do that no more. You know, I've done what I, I wanted to do in this business and now it's my turn. It's my turn to, to give them back something. Hey. I couldn't find the real retirement speech, so I had to copy it off of YouTube. I apologize for that. Ray Lewis's final home game and his routine dance. In January, the Ravens would go up against the Indianapolis Colts, facing them in Baltimore. 
the Ravens would win the game 24-9, giving Ray Lewis a victory, advancing on to the divisional playoffs against the Denver Broncos. Unfortunately, this would be his final home game, and this 